Hello, everybody. You, uh, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> How are you guys doing? This is Maria from mariascraftingcorner.com, and I sure hope uh, that you join me today. This is another impromptu live uh, to work on our paper pumpkin kit alternatives. Like I mentioned on my previous uh, live on Tuesday, I am having an issue, or I was having an issue with... Um, my paper pumpkin kit subscription and so that means I have not gotten it. The good news is I'm going to get it so super excited about that. The bad news is that um, I am not sure how things are going to go here so let me see because for one reason I can see you Connie but it looks like there may be an issue. Mm -hmm. See some connected. Let's see. Ha uh -huh. I'm trying to figure this out, guys. I'm sorry. Sometimes things don't work exactly like I want them to work. Okay, it seems like we're in. Hey, how are you? Hi, Connie. Hi, Judy. It was like showing in my computer, but not showing up here. And I was like, oh my God, am I not connected and talking to myself? Which would have been okay because I got confused at the very beginning when I was talking. <laughs> so that happens every so often in my life. Anyways, welcome. We are going to be working on our um, paper pumpkin kit alternatives. I was saying that unfortunately, I still have not gotten April's paper pumpkin kit. It happens. Um, it was a, a so my I had to change my card because it was expired and of course um, I didn't do it on time. So my fault. Uh, thankfully, Paper Pumpkin is uh, they're going to send that to me and I will get it eventually. Um, but it's not going to be anytime soon. So what we're going to do is we're going to work on our um, with March Paper Pumpkin kit because anyways I did not really use a lot of it, um, and so I think it's a great opportunity to use what I have left. Um, Super quick announcements, guys, same as always. If you, hey, hey, Judy, if you um, want to go to my website, mariascraftingcorner.com, that's the rewards for the month of April, and that's my April host code. If you are interested, you will also find that host code all over my website, so you will be able to get those beautiful embossing folders for free after your um, $50 purchase before cheaping and tax. And just because it's important, um, please don't forget that we have up to 60% a little percent off of last chance products. So all those retiring things that are um, going away because we're getting our new catalog and on that note i am super excited about the new catalog there's so many beautiful things and we'll start working on the new stuff in may i just want you guys to have this stuff so i know a lot of the people that kind of come with me or yeah here in the channel are already demonstrators but um for those that are not i just want you know i don't want to start using this gorgeous stuff and i was like oh no you can't get it yes yet wait <laughs> so I feel that you know we're going to wait until it's out there and then um, we'll get all that beautiful stuff out and we're going to play with it and let me figure out how to go back down haha -ha, I'm getting so good at this guys I'm so excited <laughs> I know it's funny but sometimes doing the whole playing around is kind of complicated okay sorry I saw that. <laughs> okay, so I'm back here. Um, Judy and Connie, how are you guys doing? I am so thankful that you guys are here. I am trying to see why. Oh, I was having some issues with my computer and kind of logging in. So hopefully you guys can see me and all is okay. Uh, and if you guys don't mind telling don't mind letting me know if everything looks okay. I would appreciate it. So I, of course, had already put all my playing in the rain and the stuff from the paper pumpkin kit in these 
a uh, little bag just because it all matches so well, right? But that doesn't mean we're going to use anything else. We are going to do, um, let's see. I even have the stamp here. <laughs> That's me, right? I like everything together. I feel that it gives a lot of much more flexibility. And I'm going to bring out some of the stuff we have here. So these are all our cutouts and even the little um, dots. I keep them in there just in case I have to do another paper pumpkin kit um, video, which it looks like I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm going to put our in the rain, playing in the rain, um, oh well, it's the Rain or Chine DSP out of the way, and I'm going to bring all of this stuff out of the way too. Phew, okay guys, um, for those of you that don't know who, what Paper Pumpkin Kit, it is a monthly subscription um, by Stampin' Up, and I love it because you will get everything you need um, to do whatever projects they've made for that month. And I absolutely love it. I do like to play around and we always try to make, um, I am so glad Judy. I'm glad everything is cool. Um, we make alternatives in here just cause I enjoy playing around with it. And today we are going to work on kind of combination between a step card and writing card. I think I've, I've seen somebody on Pinterest called it like a double tent card or something like that. Um, but to me, it is really like kind of a step card and uh, a card, <laughs> you know, just a regular card together. So we're going to work on that. Like I was mentioning, I try to use only what's in the kit. What I allow myself to bring in, as you guys, if you've been here before, know, it's mostly my tools and um, a piece of white cardstock or a piece of um, black cardstock. It kind of depends on the colors. And I, well, you know what I don't remember is what color I had for this. So I'm hoping it was Mellow Mango. Eh, mango, Mango, Mellow Mango. Mango Melody, the one that we were using. So hopefully it was that one. Um, each kit will bring its own um, stamping spot. And I have one here. It was not the stamping, it was this one, right? Oh, I think it's the polished pink. So let me put that back in. I don't know which one it was. If somebody remembers, I'm so sorry about that. Um, I have here a my mellow mango. Yeah, I think it's like my mango melody. Oh my god in heavens. So I'm gonna bring my mango melody. If somebody remembers which it was the actual um ink spot that we used that we received for these, please let me know. Um I I again I just keep mine in here, these little ones, because I'm not going to use them. Um and I just feel that this is a really great spot to keep them. Um, I will show you one of these days how my little, all my settings look like. <laughs> okay, so um, like I was saying, all I bring is my my tools. Uh, sometimes depending on the mood, I will use my blending brushes. Uh, thank you, Judy. Yeah, I was, so I was not that lost. It's the Mango Melody that came in with, um, so I was saying Mellow Mango and it's Mellow Mambo. <laughs> Anyways, I guess I was thinking of mangoes and hungry or something. <laughs> um, the one that was in the kit and I will just use my big, um, ink pad because it does not make sense for me to open that one. As I have this. Um, looking for my ta -da, magical, my magic trimmer. I love this thing. You guys know that. It's my favorite. And what we're going to do is we're going to get our piece in here and we are going to. So this is just a regular 11 and a half, 11 by 8 and a half uh, piece of cardstock. And we are just going to trim at the five and a half measurement so we have two pieces that are quite identical and what we're going to do, we're going to bring this one and we're going to go into two and three quarters which is the half 
of five and a half, and then we're going to go ahead and score at five and. Am I doing this incorrectly? I'm doing this incorrectly. Thankfully, I have two pieces, guys. See, this is. Actually, I can do this. Look, we can use this one. Um, so, not two and three quarters. Sorry, guys. I shouldn't have started this fast. So, what happened is, um, I started the video, and then all of a sudden, I couldn't see anything um, in my. So, I always have my computer here open, so I can see more or less what's happening, what you guys are seeing, and I am not like super off because I don't. I know that you know that there's always this um, time between time difference between I am talking and you're actually seeing it. So, um, and it was, nothing was working. And then I saw Connie saying hi, and I'm like, hey, Connie, and nothing was popping in my computer. And I'm like, uh-oh. So that kind of threw off my brain. And we all know how how bad that is when it happens because my it takes a minute for my brain to kind of whew, whew, reorganize. So let's start over. We have here a eight and a half by five, and a half piece of Y cardstock, and we are going to score these at the two and one eighth mark, and then at four and a quarter mark. Okay, now we got our little step card, and it's gonna look like this, right? And that look at that, guys. I'm going to do this again because it's obviously not working for me today. Okay, two and an eighth and then four and a quarter. And I think this is straight, so hopefully it looks straight from up here. Uh, I love all the new colors and I agree with you. I kind of am suffering because Crush Curry is not not as happy as the mango melody i think that you know hi rosie how are you it's it's one of those things i was saying the other day like i figured that for those that have been demonstrators for a very long time i mean you end up not being able to keep up with it right but but i wish they didn't have to retire a whole lot of colors to bring in new colors um mango melody is one of those that i was very sad to, to let you know see go away Blushing Bright, as you guys know, because that's one of my faves. Those are ones that I'm really, really sad that they kind of let go. But I am there with you, Judy. I love all the new colors. Um, the Moody Mauve, however you say that. The Very Burst. Oh, my God. I love Very Burst. Um, I, I Yeah, there are colors that I'm super excited that came in. Um, the Bob bubble bath i particularly love that pebble bath um love it because that's like a warm uh gray and i love warm grays especially for coloring so i'll probably be using that a lot so anyways i know it's sad to let some of them go and i'm like i'm not i'm very sad but we will survive so okay so again we scored at four <clears throat> four and a quarter and one and two and an eighth, I guess I should do it this way, two and an eighth and four and a quarter. And we're going to kind of fold mountain on this one and this one will go bound. Okay, and we're going to need another piece, but I'm just going to use one of our card bases because what we are going to do, let me see if this works, is we're going to put this one in here. So we're going to create, not this one, but another of the card bases in here. Um, and that will do the trick. Okay, so now that I finally got my act together, and this is just one of those very, very... Oh, really? Is it only... I, I didn't know how often it was. I was not paying attention, which does not surprise me. Um, that is every five years. So I'll have to embrace embrace it, let it be, and then embrace it in five years. <laughs> um, yeah, it, and... and don't get me wrong, like I, it, it makes a lot of sense, right? It makes a lot of sense that things get to be renewed and changed and, you know, um, it's kind of like to spark that creativity. Like I get it. It's just that, uh, you, you know, your heart belongs to some of those things. So 
is what it is. We will survive. Okay, let me bring, I'm putting all my stuff in here and bringing what we need. And I want these piece. I love, absolutely love, let me rephrase this, these um, gorgeous, uh, I'm making Spanish, rainbow. I'm sorry about that. Sometimes it happens. So we are going to come back in here. We're going to cut in half. So we save that rainbow. And now that we have it, because you guys know that I love my, um, love to layer a lot. And on top of that, I don't know if you can tell here, the, I didn't cut like straight on the center, it looks like. So I still have that score line. Yes, you're right, Judy, except for the colors. So since this is four and a quarter by five and a half, I'm going to get this and align it on the shorter side at four and one eighth. And we are going to chop, chop that. And then I am going to align it on this side, I think, at five and three eighths. So all we're doing is just chopping one eighth off. And this is what we're going to come here and put in here. The other thing I was thinking, I keep thinking this, and I, and I know I've said this a couple times, but this white, it's different from our basic white. It's a, how would you call it? This is more of a warm white and this is more of a cold white. So this has a little bit more blue in it. So I don't like that, that to see that. So in order to change that, because I really don't like it, I think I'm going to use this. And what that means is I'm going to cut another eighth of here. So bottom line, this is going to be our inside layer, which would be then five and a quarter by four. And I am going to bring this piece and we are going to cut it. That, where are you? Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter, sorry. At four, <clears throat> five and three eighths. And then we're cutting here by four and one eighth. And there it is. And we are going to attach this in here. We just created that kind of difference. And I think that that will help to not notice that that color difference um, between the whites. And, and I know that's probably only me, the one that gets really picky about certain things. Um, and probably the recipient is not going to see it. And it's fine. But, you know, you also have to do you in some of these things. So... Let's go ahead and add these in here and then we'll decorate some of it and we're gonna have some fun with this. Let's see, I'm bringing my Stampin' Seal Plus and I'm doing this very much to the edge because there is, as you know, a window in here and so we need to just like make sure that it is going to fit, all, that it's actually going to be within the area. And we did a good job, look at that. And now we're gonna add this. This is going to be a super simple card. Um, I should hope so anyways. And now we're going to bring our pieces. I always extend this. I know you guys know that. Um, and I always put this here. I'm being mindful that this is my direction. And so this is why I'm doing this way. And there we go. We center that as best as we can. And boom, we got our little. So what we're going to have is Whoops, I'm off camera. Guys, let me know if I go off camera. I have had to change a couple of things, and I know I'll let you guys know partially why. So my, um, I have in, in the front of me, I have a big window, right? Um, and this is an old house. So part of, this is an old house, and it has, how you call this, like little, not holes, um, well, the wind can come through and it gets pretty cold here in Colorado every so often. So I had right next to my iPad, which is like right here in front of me, all my blend, my blenders, right? And I have been having that. And I know you guys have heard it because I've complained about it, um, that they have been like the alcohol pops out, right? I don't know if it's a, 
blenders are having an issue or what. But then I, I kept thinking, well, maybe they just don't like the cold. And so, um, because they're getting that draft, that's the word. If there's a draft there, then probably when it gets really, really cold, they just don't like it. And so I moved them from here to another spot in here. And that meant, ta -da, ta -da, any more changes? Yeah. And when I make changes, it kind of throws me away from where I've been. <laughs> so I've been in a lot of changes, Judy knows. So if I am off camera, please let me know because um, I had to move things off a little bit. Um, again <laughs> and so anyways the first move was to add all my new ink pads so that was a happy move this one was was more just like a, a neat move anyways so we are going to bring our our happy um this is a cutout from the paper pumpkin kit and i can tell i'm still off there let me do this That's a really good idea. That's a really good idea. The problem, Judy, is that, you know, I don't want to bring anything that, um, you know, it's not in, in the, oh my God, it, it, it's not included in the, in the kit. Um, and then, you know, no balmy blue or pool party or anything. I could not bring any of that. Um, I could do it and do it more like, um, sunset kind of setting but i figured you know just going to let it be as is and we'll do well we're going to use this oh okay <laughs> i'm glad connie um so we're going to use this piece that comes with the kit and we're going to create it here and you guys can probably already see what i'm going with this right um so let's go ahead and put some um of these uh this stamping seal plus up here i am going to align because i'm using all the strength of it right so it looks super cute i think i like it very much this way and because i am such an ocd person and i know you guys know and there's no news in here i'm going to bring a piece of this paper uh, which what would have been probably what I could do, right? You're right. I could have used some of these um, paper in here. I'm not sure what I didn't do that, but that's fine. Sure happens. I'm going to do not this one because this is too small. Let me bring another one. I'm thinking, do I want this one or do I want a piece of an envelope? I think I want the yellow. A little bit more I like that yellow very much so yes we are going to do that sad piece where we take apart one of our envelopes it's fine guys um, I think it was race was it no I was who I was watching the other day well I was watching somebody saying and they were saying something along the line so if I really don't need very elegant um, very elegant envelopes. I just, you know, I just need to send them in an envelope. So I, I'm going to use this piece. And I was like, oh, that's brilliant because it's true. <laughs> so I'm going to remove these, the flap off, right? And now I am going to need a piece for here. And I am going to make it an eighth smaller. And we know already that this is two and an eighth by five and a half. So we're going to cut a two. Just being respectful of that eighth, right? And we are going to move this here to five and three eighths, okay? And this should work in here perfectly, okay? Yes, I like this. And the truth is you don't need to put another color in here. It's Maria who's very OCD who likes it that way. Let's be fully honest with it. Um, I just feel that, I don't know why, I guess just the white, I don't know. I feel like it's, <laughs> um, when I was doing step cards, I remember seeing everybody making other step cards and it was like, these was almost never covered, like the back of the steps. And I was like, no, I, I like them covered. You need to cover them people. <laughs> That's needed. That's needed. <laughs> and I was like, okay, maybe it's not needed, but it is what it is. And what I want to do is I, I'm going to flip this one over here. 
and we're going to glue this in here and we're going to put our sentiment here so that way it's all fun and decorated right we're not going to decorate the outside necessarily maybe we'll do um but at least we're going to have this other card base around here and this is where we're going to put our sentiment so i really like it this way because it really creates fun now i don't know if you guys can tell but this is kind of off a little bit here i don't think we're going to have an issue with that um but just for the sake of it i'm going to try the other one and this one seems to be better okay i managed there we go and so we're going to put this in here and this will help keep our flap our card together right to stand well now let me reinforce this it's not standing. So let's go ahead and we are going, I'm just calculating where these goes here. And I am not going to stamp in here because of course, guys, what's going to happen is going to be moved. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm moving my whole thing there. No, it's had to come here. A little bit lower there we go i keep moving up and up and up for some reason and obviously i'm here so uh so i was telling you guys i'm not going to stamp in here because it's just going to be messed up i know but we're going to bring one of the things of the little pieces and we're going to stamp in here and then we can bring another one of the many beautiful things that they have so let's go ahead and glue these and yes i am going to use glue in this case because it just make it simpler um to add right we know that glue is much more flexible and or allows us flexibility i guess is what i'm trying to say and i am going same as always i'm going to stretch that out i'm going to hold this together like it's one piece going back here and boom boom i'm going to align this as best as i can super simple card but it has a wow, and all you're doing is very, very simple, right? Okay, I'm scoring that again, and I'm scoring this friend again, because it's a little rebellious. And guys, I did this incorrectly, thankfully, and that's why you use glue. Jesus, guys. Okay, I did this so well when I was doing the other side, and then I didn't do it in here. From all the things that are retiring, and I know I've said this already, but I still can't get over it. It's the steam apparatus. Okay, this needs to go this way. Um, I still can't get over it. I, and, and I hope you guys understand that I will keep using my steam apparatus because I just need it for many things. And it makes some of the work very easy. Okay, now we have our card. Ta-da! So we'll have something fun when the person opens it, and that's pretty cool. And then we'll have the what we'll call the front with some of the decorations. There we go. You could do this differently to make another step. So when you work steps, the way to work on it best is if this is an inch, then you score in an inch, and then the other piece needs to be an inch too. So that way they have the same measurement and they will stand. Um, so you keep, that's how you create different steps in a card, right? Um, I just kept it simple, but I think this looks so adorable and cute. I'm gonna go ahead and reinforce again those those uh, score lines so it stays better okay now let's just have fun decorating isn't it just the easiest thing and i love that i have all my little pieces in here and we'll stamp some of it so as you guys can tell i made the mistake of leaving these as is and it was so i don't know where it got that it got it got um how you call this it got stuck with something. It, maybe it was wet. I've been trying to clean it. Which means all we're going to do is bring our, which we've done in the past, our little piece and 
I'm gonna grab our uh, let me use this one one of our acrylic blocks get a piece of it a little bit of it in and I'm gonna bring one of my water painters and yes you can put water in here mine does not have water in there because I keep them now in another place like I've been saying lots of changes in my in my area my working area and I'm just going to like work real quick on here right you don't need a water paint all you need is a brush and that's all I'm doing is um, getting some water and then go over here we cannot really go a lot with this piece just because I made a mistake here so I'm just going to create this so make it all together that's how you correct your own mistakes I'm not a water painter at all by the way um, but again we cannot dwell a lot in coloring this area with water because this is not watercolor paper and so what you're going to have is I'm just making sure I am there in the right spot and you guys can actually see what I'm doing um, if, if we try to like do a lot of blending then what we're going to encounter is that the paper is going to give up on us right and so this is kind of what's happening here so I am just very very softly trying to create that and because I made that line in there I'm going to create another line in here okay super super simple I'll clean that here in a little bit and same as that and so we have now our um, kite that I am not sure where I'm going to put if this is going to be part of it we'll play with it oh I have never tried that not with these anyways so Connie's saying to soak it in water to soften it a bit hmm next time I'll have to play with that I have not played with that so it's very good thank you Connie for the um, for the up not update for the tip like I said I'm really not a artist <laughs> so I, I you know like painting not very good I like it but I am not that person which is one of the reasons why I absolutely love um, the alcohol markers right because they just made such a huge difference um, for me like I can use them and I feel like this full pro I'm not kidding this is a leftover from one of my little pieces that was in there I am just going to bring one of these flowers because they are so cute we are going to cut them and we are going to put some in here and then some on the top in here if I manage to bring this maybe and some on the top in here right so they are you can see them when you move this and we're creating that depth and that dimension and I absolutely love this I'm gonna obviously need some glue in here that I didn't put maybe I didn't put it because I wanted to play with the flowers a little bit um, and that was part of the reasoning behind it but um, yeah, it needs to be glued. <laughs> so I like playing with the position of the flowers a little bit in the sense of some of them are behind the hill, some of them are on this side of the hill if you want. And we're going to do the same thing with these friends. Um, they are all going to be behind the hill and it's fine. Not that much, sorry. Just be mindful to put the glue just in the lower part of the flowers and I love how this is like the OCD of me but or in me but I love how this pink is within the pinkish side and this yellow is within the yellow side I know that's pretty OCD but it's fine I'm okay with that and so we have our turtle which in spite of the fact that I love our turtle I don't want the green on green I feel that there's not enough pop we're going to use one of our beautiful 
And I think that's the only animal I have left. No, 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 no. Good news, guys. Good news. I still have one of one of these friends, and I love him. And we have one of the little... Where are you? Here's the little frog. And that's, again, it's just you can barely see it. So what I'm going to do... Not barely see it, but you know, guys know what I'm doing. I'm just going to put my frog in here. So you will see it more. And I'm going to move this a tiny bit in here. So it's behind the flowers, but um, kind of, um, but you can tell it's behind, but not, again, OCD. What I'm trying to say is if I put them behind the flowers, it still, it looks grounded, I guess. Um, not that that's important, but I want it to be grounded. So we're going to put our glue and move him back in here like that. And that way he looks, again, grounded. And this is not very big, but I am going to put him around here, I think. Maybe like there. And we are going to give him these. And that's going to roll like that. Let's see. And of course, this is just scene making, which means really you can do whatever you like best, right? In the end, it's whatever you like best. And so we'll keep these uh, kite on this side, and it'll look just so cute when it opens up. And we'll put a cloud, because that makes a lot of sense to me, to put a cloud on this side. And then I'm going to bring one of these clouds too, and I'm going to cut it in half. And we are just going to put it maybe the other side. Gosh, sometimes, guys, right there. So we have a cloud. Maybe up to the top. No, right there is where I want it. So I was thinking the other day, which is very funny, um, you know, I, of course I watch other demonstrators because I, I just love watching people making cards. I, I'm always astounded, uh, so surprised about the creativity people has. Like, it surprises me so much how people can be so, so creative. Um, and so I was thinking the other day that there's other demonstrators, and Rachel Tesman is one of them, that actually work a lot in kind of multiplying your kit and I am like I use everything in one, <laughs> in one set right like I come around and it's just like I use everything available in one card and um so you know I just I was just laughing at myself um what I just did is put a little bit of glue on my little um chick so it holds our kite and it looks like she has it um, and then I'm going to put her on dimensionals. And these are the dimensionals that the kit actually brought. They were mini dimensionals. Um, and so we're going to get our chick all puffed up. And I am using a couple of dimensionals to kind of hold that as well. Right? And I'm going to put some in this aside too so it this is attached here and then there's less wobbly intervention <laughs> so i'm gonna put let's see probably like a couple maybe and i'm trying to see if these are going to be too big and i think they're going to be too big so i just want to make sure now we can oh my god i love her alternatives she's very very good um but that's what I was saying, right? I was like, yeah, she makes like five extra cards. She really tries to multiply. And I'm like not multiplying anything. I'm just like, yeah, let me use all these pieces. <laughs> and I was just laughing at myself, right? About how, you know, amazing and crafting is. And that's why, right? Because it's so many changes and so many um, alternatives that you can make and how creative we are, right? And I just love it. Okay, let's bring our chicky here. So it's going to be like a little bit like that. Looking at the sky because it's looking at 
the kite and our kite now is there stuck. So that makes it so much simpler. And we're still gonna bring one of these in our um, stamps. And I'm gonna bring the, you brought in my day. I think I've used that one on every card that I used from here. <laughs> so, yeah, I like, you know what I like, and I was thinking about it the other day. I would definitely, I'm going to start making some um, options that are scrapbook pages. She does a whole lot of them, and I was like, why don't I do that? Like, that's dumb, Maria. So I think that it's time for me to look into doing something like that. I don't know what I'm doing, obviously. Okay, so making sure that's all good. If my head goes in, I'm so sorry. But same as always, I cannot make anything straight. And the light, I don't know if you can see it, the light hits the block just on the right spot. And then I can't see any of it. So... Okay, so we're going to put our little sentiment here, and I really like it there. Um, so I think that I'm going to start doing some scrapbook page um, layouts. And the other thing that really surprises me is how fast they work. I, like, surprise, surprise. I She can make like in an hour and a half, like, all the stuff and I'm like oh my god in heavens like I can make one in 40 minutes and yeah I'm not that fast so there's that so this is the front of our car super super cute the back and then we're going to come up here and decorate this inside and because we use that one that other saying we have wishing you sunshine and smiles and I really like that one although I don't think I have to use another one of these. Does this fit here? It does like tight, tight. I'm starting to think if I want to want to go ahead and risk it. And I, I think I'm going to go ahead and risk it, guys. Wish me luck. And same as I've always said, if you have other colors, right, go ahead and use those colors. Okay, let's, hoping for the best, I'm going to try to undo this as best as I can. And really push it. Yay! We made it, guys. We made it. It worked. It worked. That makes me so happy. Um, and I am going to bring some of these clouds. And one in here. And I think I want our little turtle here. And that's so perfect, right? I'm going to Put that so you can also write in here your message and you still have some decorations in here and I just love it I have to say guys and probably you guys know this better um, because you know me I absolutely love this kit I have seen the other kit um, from other people's videos um, and it's gorgeous gorgeous guys I'm, I'm so sad that I was not going to get it um, thankfully, I will. So um, we're just going to have to wait on that one. I'm going to put my little turtle in there. And we have these. Now, the last thing I want to bring, oh, Maria, Maria, is I am going to bring some of these because these are way too cute and I have barely used them. Um, and I don't know why I have barely used them because I really like them. Huh? Maybe because they're giving me a hard time. <laughs> I remember that was what happened with the other one, but I'm going to bring one here. And then I am going to bring one in here and we'll decorate that a little bit. There we go. Ah, go center, Maria. And then the other one, the other side. And I think it just gives it such a fun pop. There you go. So don't mind me not being careful. But this is our card today. So we have, we can open and it will stand, right? And then we'll have the other part where you can write your sentiment, I mean your sentiment, your you know note to the person that's receiving it. But it will be cool because it will stand on its own like any step card. And that's it, guys. 
What do you guys think? Please let me know in the comments if you liked it. Oh, another thing, other thing I want to push. Guys, um, two things uh, that I want to mention. I rarely ever ask people to like and subscribe and to share, but if you won't mind doing that, I do appreciate it because it will help me with the algorithm. Um, and yeah, I would like to, you know, get a few other people. <laughs> Um, but most importantly, I want to make some changes in my lives. Um, maybe not in the paper pumpkin kit because it's always just one card. But I usually, for my other lives, um, I make... And let me come back up here. Um, there I am. I make um, a you know, several cards. So what I am going to do from now on is that I'm going to give you one of those cards. Um, I think that that is a great idea to just give you one of the cards. And so that way, you know, it's like a little prize within it. Oh, thank you, Judy. I'm so glad you liked it. I think I, again, I have to say this, like I feel there's not a whole lot of making in here. It's it's kind of already made. It's so easy, right? Like, ta-da! <laughs> I feel it's just so easy to work with this kit in alternatives. Let's be honest, right? It's super simple because you can create scenes. And let me rephrase this, very important. I love little scenes. And I know you guys know that. And I love little whimsical animals. And I just, this kid was totally up my alley. Just like I love the Rainer Chine Suite, right? Like, I absolutely loved it. So, um, I feel that, you know, they just, this is just such a easy kit to make options and different, different stuff. I may be actually making a cup of, of scrap pages from this kit um, to give away and so what I'm thinking actually is that um, maybe next live we'll be making those scrap pages with the rest of this kit while we wait for April's to arrive which will arrive when it'll arrive. <laughs> um, if you are a Stampin' Out demonstrator you may know that they're quite backed up right now. Um, they had one of the most successful sale days on April 4th, one day, you know, from demonstrators. Their options are so beautiful. Between the demonstrators and the 60% off, they're just like backed up. And so I think that it's super important to um, be mindful and be patient, right? Um, I will have to wait for some of the stuff I order. The paper pumping pumpkin kit was perfectly, totally my fault, but. Um, nothing we can do about it. Okay, guys, thank you so much, Connie and Judy. And um, I forgot what the other lady was. Let me see. Rosie, hi, <laughs> uh, for being here with me today. I appreciate you hanging out with me on this Saturday um, afternoon. I still have my coffee, Judy. So <laughs> that's the good news. And uh, I did say this on my previous live, but on, on, um, Tuesday, but guys, I will make a longer video, um, probably more like Zoom or something where we can all talk, um, talk, talk, <laughs> not just type, uh, and we're going to make together my wedding, how do you call it? Well, scrap box is not it. Well, my wedding picture um, kind of scrapbook layout, but that I have in picture, like I put in a picture frame. Um, I know it has a name, but I completely forgot it because why not? Um, and so I, if you are interested in doing that, do send me your email to Maria at Maria's crafting corner.com because in order to get you in or send you an invite, I will need your email. Um, so if you're interested in that, let me know, Judy, let me know if you're interested. I do have your email. So whoever is interested, do send me an email so I can log you in. I don't think it, I will have capability to do more than five or 10 people. Um, so limited seating. Uh, but yeah, go ahead and send me an email if you're interested so I can add you to that. And I'm not totally sure when that's going to be. And by the way, it's not going to be just stamping up um, 
Jesus uh, products. Uh, I will add some some extra like not paper, but mostly fabrics because I like to work with fabrics. See, oh Judy, thank you, thank you, thank you, Rosie. I appreciate it. Please let me know if you liked it. Um, I appreciate you joining us. That's important. Thank you, Judy. So Judy is saying, just a note, colors and pens and blenders should avoid string temper changes. And that's what's happening. I'm pretty sure that that's why they were kind of like coming, not coming apart, but they were not working perfectly well. So mine were, again, just against the draft in the window because of course it's very comfortable is within reach for me um, and I had to change them so it's good to know guys if you have them in places where they are kind of like exposed to something like that then move them thank you Judy okay guys thank you so much I hope you enjoyed the live and um, leave me your comments subscribe like and share if you like the video big hugs to everybody let me remove that we don't need that. Bye-bye. <laughs> Have a wonderful rest of your day.